Hey everyone, so I know that whenever I record, I forget to do outros and I've been so, so busy, like there's been so much going on that it's been tough for me to record too. So um, I just want to catch you up. Um, it is almost the end of the quarter and I know it sounds so fast, but it's almost the end of the quarter. And at the end of the quarter, we get new students. Um, in all of our classes. So it's kind of like the new school year, but it's a quarter. So um, we are on a quarter system at my school. And um, the reason for that is because we are a continuation school, so we are credit recovery. So kids will take an English class for one quarter instead of a semester, and they'll get the same amount of credits. And then if they failed like the whole year, then they'll just take two quarters, which counts as two semesters. So the kids have a better opportunity to finish classes faster. And we do get a lot of kids who graduate early. So I have a kid in my class right now. She barely turned 16 and she's already graduating at the end of this quarter. Hang on, let me get my phone. I swear every time I'm talking now, the phone always goes off. So I was just telling you how busy it's been and I got my prep today and I actually just got called to go and relieve a teacher who has to go do something that may take all periods so I may end up subbing for that period which I've been doing a lot, I've been subbing a lot for my prep so I haven't had a lot of time to like record and stuff so in about five minutes or so I have to go and cover that class. <sighs> it's a busy, busy month, not even a week, not even a day, a month. it's a busy month. But we have our green screen up. Look at how beautiful. Um, I'm still painting some villains. So this is what we have over here. So I had all these over here and moved them, moved them over here. So I like them better over here. Might move her, but I'm adding more. I'm painting them at home and they're gonna be added over there and then probably in here. I'm gonna move her somewhere. I don't know, maybe I'll move her over here and then it'll say like life is the bubbles or I don't know, something Disney related, but it looks beautiful. Um, so we have a lot of our Halloween posters out. I zoomed all up in my face. We have all of our Halloween posters out, not all of them, but most of them. Hey, Mr. Bean. Um, we have most of them out. We are advertising for our dance. I've got these all up in the windows of everyone's door. So I have, ooh, I do, I think I have one in mine. So I put them here. So it's just backwards so that when kids come to my door, they can see on the other side, which is cool. And I printed out some tickets, which if you didn't know, you have to number your tickets. I didn't know that. So just in case like a kid gives them away for free, then those would not be valid. But I didn't number them and I'm like, well, whatever. So let me show you what the tickets look like. I made these myself and I think they look amazing. So what I'm doing is I'm printing out enough so that each of my ASB kids can have five and they will be responsible for selling those five so they will buy one themselves and then they will sell the other four so um, this is what they look like let me let me take one out because I have like the student name so this is what they look like it says Halloween costume party and it's got like little skulls it's like gold it's so cool and then I also stamp them with my my stamp on the front and the back so that I know they're legit. I thought that would be enough, but we have to number them too. But I figure instead of numbering, the kids are just going to tell me the names of the kids they sold them to. So um, it's going to be really exciting. I'm kind of nervous because I want to make sure that we sell enough tickets to get enough people to show up because last year our ASB teacher wasn't able to sell enough Sadie's tickets. They sold like one or maybe two and they had to cancel it because if you're canceling or if you're putting on something for only two kids to show up, you're wasting a lot of money. And originally I was going to have it be like $5 at the door, um, but then I'm like, wait a minute, I want to know how many kids are planning on coming because if it's $5 at the door, I don't know who's coming. I don't know how many kids are coming or how many tickets are being sold until they're sold at that dance, which was already like, it's already being put on. So I decided we're just going to sell tickets. And from there, I'll actually have an idea of how many kids are going to come. So I have my ASB kids selling five each. So they each have to sell five and that's going to be um, basically them selling to their friends and then one of them is basically them buying one so it is what it is. Um, I think that should work. I think it should be okay. I'm excited but I'm also a little bit nervous because I do have kids in the ASB class that should not be in there. Um, I did choose them all specifically to be in here but there's like four or five that I learned 
probably don't belong in the class. So I'm nervous giving them tickets because then if they get the tickets, maybe they're gonna just throw them away. Maybe they're going to give them to people for free. Um, that's where the whole is it valid or is it not valid type of stuff comes in where I should have numbered them. So I did not give tickets to those kids. Instead, I'm going to put numbers on theirs and laminate them so that I know like these are the tickets that they sold and they have to give me the name of who they sold it to. But I'm just hoping that if they can't sell them, they give the tickets back. They don't give them away. So that's that's that. Um, my room is a little bit neater, but it's still a mess. I don't know what else. Um, oh, I got a Donors Choose project. I put it up, so it is, I'm asking for an iPad. If you're interested in donating to me, it is in the bottom um, of this video, in the down bar. We're asking for an iPad and then another one for an Apple Pencil so that we can work on digital art for my ASB kids so that I can teach them how to make posters and how to make all this digital art type of stuff. Um, banners, flyers, things like that. And I think that even having that there for them to use, they can learn skills that they can use in their careers. So um, I think that's really exciting for them, but I don't know. Um, if you are interested in donating, again, it's in the down bar. I also have my Amazon classroom wish list down there. If you're interested in donating anything like books or anything that's on that wish list, it would be so appreciated. I did have someone donate a book and a little gift card, so I'm so thankful for you. Thank you so much for donating to me and my students. We're so appreciative. Um, also, if you donate onto the Donors Choose link down at the bottom with the iPad and the pencil, the Apple Pencil, then you get pictures of the kids using them. You get like thank you letters from them, and they're just so so sweet they're so sweet and they're always so excited when they get things donated so that's just if, if you're interested um, if you haven't signed up for donor shoes I highly highly recommend it click this link right up here this is a video I made for you so you can learn how to set up a wish list on donor shoes so that you can get things donated to you if you're a teacher too um, teachers really really appreciate it and there's so much money that goes into teaching that a lot of people don't understand when you're not a teacher so if you are a teacher and you're struggling for funds or you want books for your room or some kind of technology you can ask for it on there too there's also um, a campaign going right now so if you donate to my iPad um, project or my Apple Pencil project, then your donation will be times by one and a half. So if you donate um, two dollars, then that two dollars now turns into three dollars because two times one is two, half of two is one, that's three dollars. So it's times one and a half. It's kind of complicated math, but <laughs> um, so there is that um, going on right now. So if you're interested, if you have a little extra spare change, that would be so amazing if you donated, but I'm definitely no pressure at all. Um, but yeah, so this is my classroom. I'm still working on it. I have all of these chains done. These are all done. So I just have to put the lights in between and it'll be perfect. I haven't had any of them fall. So if you are interested in doing this, definitely try it out. I did get a lot of good ideas on how to hang them as well. So one person told me to use paper clips and like paper clip them to the metal parts at the top. And that was so smart. I don't know why I didn't think of that because I have so many paper clips another person said to use magnets because the metal pieces are obviously metal they will attract a magnet so there's lots of different ways that I had no idea I just want to thank you guys so much for all your ideas you guys are so helpful and I love it um, so we have our dance going on very soon um, and we're advertising like crazy so we're doing all the posters we're putting out flyers we're doing all this stuff I'm super excited I do have to go relieve the teacher now so I will catch up with you after school if I don't I'm really sorry and I will add to this video a little bit longer okay bye I fall or be thrown at you in an earthquake that you should secure in place now finally strong earthquakes may trigger tsunami if you're near the beach during an earthquake drop cover and hold on then walk quickly to high ground when the shaking stops this drill is over Visit shakeout.org for simple steps to help you survive and recover from a major earthquake, including how to secure your space. Thank you for taking part in the great California Shakeout.